So I went to a talk by Chris Murray from Penn, and he was talking about creating um, assemblies of nanoparticles and nanostructures. And he said at the end of his talk that we are now limited not by the tools that we can use to make things, but just the creativity of what we want to create. And I thought that was really exciting. He called that the limiting factor and what we can create in terms of materials. Well, I mean, first of all, the MRS conference is quite big and varied. And the most interesting thing I learned about was about these nano actuators. Uh, which can produce like 15 times higher strain than what's conventionally in market. And it's quite, it's quite, it's quite interesting because it's an intrinsic material property which people have, uh, might have come across but it's not really being applied in, uh, uh, as a model, as a design tool. So that I think was quite impressive. I was quite stunned by how it could, how it could really change how things work around the real world and could actually help you look at nanoscale stuff. So, and give you larger displacement. So that I think was quite impressive. So really what I've learned uh, in this meeting is uh, some exciting developments in the field of semiconductor nanowires and how they have been used for making solar cells uh, with very high efficiencies and also making lasers and uh, light emitting diodes for solid state lighting and a range of things. And uh, it's a really an exciting field and there's a great opportunity to really improve the efficiency of the solar cells and also reduce the cost of it and particularly that's very very important in the field of energy conversion improving efficiency and reducing the cost and use of less materials using nanowires is really helping in terms of reducing the cost. Well the most interesting thing I saw was a talk this morning um, they call it the SCUBA AFM where they built an, an AFM cantilever encased in basically uh, glass so that you can trap they trap the cantilever in air and work it in fluid so you don't have viscous damping of the fluid interrupting the vibration of the AFM cantilever and that allows you to get you know, much better imaging and faster imaging. Mm -hmm.